Next question. 63A square minus 112B square. First we have to check 63 and 112. Both are not a perfect square. A square, B square again okay, square term. Clear? So first we want to make this as a perfect square. So what will you do? 63A square can be written as 9 7 are 63. So 7 is prime number but what about 9? It is not a prime number. So how will you write? 3 into 3 9 into 7 into A into A. Okay, after that, 112B square. How to factorize 112? That is 2, 56, again 2, 28, again 2, 14, and then 2, 7, then 1. Okay, so 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 7 into B into B, B square. Okay, which term is common here? 7. Only 7 is common in both the terms. So, 63A square minus 112B square. How can you write? That is 7 in outside. 63A square minus 112B square equal what? 7 in outside. Inside the bracket 3 into 3, 9A into A, A square. Okay, that is 9A square minus here 16B square. Okay, so then we can apply in this term what? A square minus B square. Okay, here 9 is a perfect square. A in square term, 16 is a perfect square, B in square term. Clear? Then, G is equal 7 into 3A whole square. That is actually 9A square. Okay, minus 4B whole square is what? 16B square. Okay, then we apply what? A square minus B square. So, A square is what here? 3A whole square. Okay. So, what is A? 3A. Clear? And then, B square equal 4B whole square. So, what is B? 4B. Then, we can apply here A plus B into A minus B. So, what will you get here? 7 A plus B. A means 3A plus 4B. Okay. 3A plus 4B into 3A minus 4B. Okay. Uh, here, if we use a square minus b square, the given algebraic expression is compared to RHS part. After that, we get the factorization in uh, LHS part. Compared to LHS part, we get in the RHS. That is, factorization we get is RHS part. Clear? That is, a square minus b square. So, we compare to a square minus b square. Then, we get the factorization is what? a plus b into a minus b. Clear? Next question, third one, third one is very simple, that is 49, I think, this one. third question, 49 x square minus 36, so 49 is a perfect square, x square in square term, 36, also a perfect square, 6 square, after that you can apply a square minus b square directly you will get what a plus b into a minus b that is your homework clear and then next one fourth question 16 x raised to 5 minus 144 x cube clear 16 and 144 is a perfect square so what about x raised to 5 here okay x raised to 5 here it is x cube Clear. So, we want to make here two both sides in x square terms or a perfect square only. So, what will you get? Also, 16 is a multiple of 140. That is one of the factor of 144. Why? Right? That is 16 into 9 is what? 144. Okay. So, you can take 16 x cube in outside. What? 16 x cube. Okay. Inside the bracket x square. Okay. Minus here x cube in outside only 144. So what will you get? 9. Clear? That is 16 x cube into x square minus 9. 16 x cube into x square. 16 x raised to 5. That is 3 plus 2 5. After that 16 into 9. 144 x cube here. 
Okay, then 16x cube into x square x whole square minus 9 means what? 3 whole square. Then directly you can apply what? a plus b into a minus b. It is compared to what? a square minus b square. a square equal x the whole square. So what is a? x. Clear? b square equal to what? 3 the whole square. So what is b? 3. Then we can apply what here? a plus b into a minus b. Clear? That is 16x cube in outside. Apply this one. That is a plus b into a minus b. a plus b x plus 3 into x minus 3. Clear? This is our factorization. Or otherwise you can write from this, from these two terms, you can take outside x cube. Okay, so we'll get what? 16x square minus, uh, here from this note, x cube, 144. Any type, any method, you can follow. The final results will be equal. Okay, then the next one. Fifth question. Fifth question, L plus M whole square minus L minus M, yes, yes, L minus M whole square. Clear, so for, we want to simplify, yes, here it is A square minus B square. So what will you write? A plus B into A minus B, clear? So L plus M whole square. How will you write? L square, A square minus B square, okay? That is what A square minus B square equal A plus B into A minus B. Here A square, that is L plus M, okay? So, uh, compare to this one, okay? A square equal L plus M whole square. So, what is A here? L plus M. Okay, after that, B square is compared to L minus M whole square. So, what is B? L minus M. After that, you can apply this one, A plus B. What is A here? L plus M plus L minus M. Okay, one bracket. In another bracket, A minus B. A means what? L plus M minus sign we open the open bracket okay that is l minus m clear then l l light term so what will you plus m minus m cancel so what will you get to l clear into here it is into operation multiplication into here l plus m minus l minus into minus plus m so, L, L cancelled here. M plus M, 2M. Okay. So, we get what? 2L into 2M. We get what? 4LM. Okay. 4LM. That is L plus M whole square minus L minus M whole square. So, compare to A square minus B square. A square is L plus M whole square. So, A is L plus M. B square is L minus M whole square. So, what is B? L minus M. After that, you can apply this RHS part. A plus B. L plus M. A is L plus M. Plus B means what? L minus M. Into A minus B. A here it is L plus M minus. So, we open the open bracket sign. L minus M. Minus into L minus L. Minus into minus M plus M. So, in the first time, uh, first term, plus M is cancelled. So, L plus L, 2L. In the second term, M, L, L cancelled. So, we get M terms. Okay? So, 2M. 2L into 2M, we get what? 4L, M. Clear? Okay, then the uh, sixth question, again it is very simple, 9x square, y square, minus 16. So, 9 is what? 
perfect square, x square, y square, all are in square term and 9 is also a perfect square, after that 16, so 9 x square, y square, how will you write? 3 x y whole square, okay, minus 16 means what? 4 square, then after that you can compare with a square minus b square, then will you get what? a plus b into a minus b, clear? This is a direct question, first term uh, need only the factorize, that is 9 x square y square, how will you write? 3 x y whole square, that is 9 x square y square. Okay, 16 is means what? 4 square. Okay, again it is your homework. So, 3 and uh, 6, it is your homework. Please check it. Okay, 8 to question. I think it is clear. 